Welcome in, along with Mike Renner, I'm Steve Palazzolo, and this is your Taylor Rapp NFL Draft Profile, all powered by PFF Edge and Elite. Mike, when you look at Taylor Rapp, I'm just going to use the term football player. He's just solid all around. Good PFF grading that got better from his true freshman to his true sophomore season. Is not elite from a straight line speed uh, standpoint, though, and that's where we have a few question marks. Yeah, he definitely does not have the speed where you're going to ask him to play on the back end and cover guys, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. He's just a guy that is more box safety than deep safety at this point, but in the box, you can basically ask him to do any alignment, any assignment, and I think he's going to execute it at a pretty high level. So from that perspective, it might not be the most valuable thing that the safety can do uh, in the NFL in terms of today's NFL, but he will be a valuable piece to your defense if utilized correctly. It's a different style box safety too, I think, because a lot of people envision a box safety to just be that big, yeah, yeah. hard-hitting type of player. But I think with Rapp, you know, he only missed two tackles last year. He's the sure tackler. He's very agile he's he, uh, laterally he moves extremely well so even if he was running in the four seven range from a 40 standpoint you know his football movement skills are pretty good as long as yes. you don't have him running in a straight line uh, down the field so you can get a lot out of him in and around the line of scrimmage also played a lot in the slot at washington throughout mm -hmm. his career so if you talk about a zone heavy scheme i think you can get a lot out of him the way he plays the game yeah, I think if you want to ask him to cover slot receivers in a zone where he's an underneath zone defender, he can very well hold up doing that, do that at a high level. And like you said, he's not a traditional box run first type of safety. He's not taking on blocks. He's not going to be your you know, nickel linebacker. He's not going to come in and fill that mode. But if he is in terms of an add-on blitzer, uh, in terms of you know an underneath coverage defender, he can do all of that at a very high level. And yeah, we're, put him in a position where the speed's not necessarily going to be an issue, has the quicks, is not going to miss tackles and is going to make plays at and around the line of scrimmage. Just looking at the PFF draft guide, number one in tackling efficiency, missed one out of every 55 tackle attempts, so that is absolutely fantastic. So he's just going to be in the right position, 89.8 .8 coverage grade, did not give up much in coverage at all with four pass breakups and an interception last year. A lot of times we get too caught up in the flashy safety plays. I'm guilty as well. I love Nasir Adderley, I love Darnell Savage and the plays that they make. But Taylor Rapp, a lot like a Devin McCourty type player, just being in the right position at the right time has a ton of value. Well, I think it speaks to what your expectations are for him. If you're going to expect him to be a complete safety, a do-it-all type of safety where you're putting him anywhere on the, on the football field and asking him to execute something at a high level, you're not going to get That's not where you're going to get. You're not going to get that guy. So if you put him in a role that he can execute, like we've talked about that specific role, we feel good about you're getting a good football player. He will be an addition to your defense. He will be good at that role. It's all about expectations, though, with Rapp. Don't think he's this single high free safety. Yes, there we go. We got a second round grade on Taylor Rapp from Washington. It's your Taylor Rapp NFL Draft Profile, all powered by PFF Edge and Elite.